In the midst of the electric vehicle craze, where it seems like every major automaker is racing to go all electric, there's a resilient contender silently making its comeback. Hybrid vehicles. Hybrid cars are gearing up to take the spotlight, and industry insiders are predicting that they could account for up to a quarter of the U.S. market share by the end of this decade. That's right, hybrids are back in the game and they mean business. And leading the pack is none other than the automotive giant, Ford Motor. They've joined the league of top automakers, including Toyota and Stellantis. In a strategic move to build and sell hundreds of thousands of hybrid vehicles in the U.S. over the next five years, Ford is revving up its engines with an impressive lineup of hybrid models, embracing the future of transportation while keeping the hybrid spirit alive. Hybrids offer the perfect bridge between traditional gasoline engines and the electrified future. They give consumers the efficiency of electric power while maintaining the convenience of gasoline. It's the best of both worlds. This shift in strategy might seem counterintuitive to the all-electric buzz we've been hearing lately. After all, we've witnessed massive investments in electric vehicles, and the Biden administration has been pushing for an electric vehicle revolution on U.S. roadways. According to Edmonds, sales of traditional hybrid electric vehicles, like the iconic Toyota Prius, are outpacing those of all electric vehicles in 2023. HEVs accounted for a whopping 8.3% of U.S. car sales, approximately 1.2 million vehicles sold through November of this year. The clock is ticking, and the stakes couldn't be higher. To limit global warming to 1.5 Celsius, the Paris Climate Agreement set a bold deadline, net zero greenhouse gas emissions worldwide by 2050. To meet this ambitious goal, Gas guzzlers need to make way for greener alternatives, and that means saying goodbye to new production of gas-powered cars as soon as 2035. Major players like GM and Volvo are revving up to lead the charge, pledging to produce only electric cars by 2035. It's a seismic shift in the automotive landscape, but not everyone is sinking their engines to the same tune. Enter Akio Toyota, Toyota's chairman and former CEO, a man who knows a thing or two about cars. In the midst of criticism for their slower approach to electric vehicles, Toyota has a bold statement. People are finally seeing reality, he said in October. But what's the reality according to Toyota? Toyota argues that it's not just about building cars, it's about meeting consumer needs. They're planning for a more gradual global adoption, acknowledging that different markets will shift to EVs at their own pace. While some are putting all their bets on electric vehicles, Toyota is charting a different course. They're embracing a range of options, including hydrogen fuel cell vehicles. According to a Toyota spokesperson, the focus isn't just on selling a specific type of vehicle. It's about tackling the urgent challenge of reducing carbon emissions in the fastest, most effective way possible. Toyota's approach is unique. They're exploring a diversified strategy to address climate change. It's not just about the vehicle itself, but about the bigger picture, the quickest path to sustainability. There's been so much talk over the past few years about the move toward electrification and sort of forgoing hybrids, but hybrids are not dead. There's a lot of consumers out there that are interested in electrification, maybe not ready to go fully electric. What sets Toyota apart is their consideration of the entire environmental impact. They're making a case for the efficiency of producing 840-mile plug-in hybrids compared to just one 320-mile battery electric vehicle. And get this, they claim it can save up to eight times the carbon emitted into the atmosphere. Toyota is taking a holistic approach. They're looking at the big picture, not just following the electric hype. It's about making a real impact on the environment in the most effective way. So, while some are zooming full speed ahead into the electric era, Toyota is navigating the road with a strategy that's all about balance, efficiency, and sustainability. Whether it's EVs or hybrids, Toyota's drive is to create vehicles that not only meet today's needs but pave the way for a cleaner, greener tomorrow. So, when we talk about hybrids, we're actually talking about two distinct categories that coexist in the automotive universe. First up, we have the conventional hybrid electric vehicles, 
a small battery working in harmony with a gas-powered engine, capturing energy during your drive, especially during that braking action. These hybrids won't be breaking any speed records on battery power alone, typically just a couple of miles, but what they lack in electric speed, they make up for in boosting gas mileage and providing that extra kick of torque. The OG of this category, the iconic Toyota Prius. I've got a quick favor to ask. If you're finding value in my content, a small gesture from you would mean the world to me. Hit that subscribe button. It might seem like a tiny action on your part, but for me, it goes a long way. Let's make this community even more awesome together. Now let's shift gears to the second category, the plug-in hybrid vehicles. These bad boys boast a battery about 10 times larger than your traditional hybrid. You can actually plug them in and juice them up with electricity. With a range of 25 to 50 miles running solely on electricity, they seamlessly switch to their gasoline engine for those longer journeys. Enter the Prius Prime introduced in 2012, carrying the torch for plug-in hybrids. It's like having the best of both worlds. Traditional hybrids are great for efficiency, while plug-ins give you that extended electric range. It's about choosing the right fit for your driving needs. Now, here's the scoop. Conventional hybrids are ruling the roost in the US, more common than their all-electric or plug-in counterparts. But hey, the electric evolution is gaining traction and the roads are getting charged up. Switching from a gas guzzler to its hybrid counterpart isn't just a style upgrade. It's an eco evolution. You're looking at a solid 20% reduction in emissions while tearing up the asphalt. Hybrids are like the superheroes of the automotive world, slashing emissions without sacrificing the thrill of the ride. But hold on to your steering wheels because the real climate crusaders are the plug-in hybrids and electric vehicles. Now, calculating their climate impact is like navigating a complex racetrack. It depends on your driving and charging habits. According to George Biker from the International Council on Clean Transportation, the key lies in the details. So, let's break it down. Electric vehicles, with their silent hum on the road, dance circles around gas-powered counterparts when it comes to lifetime carbon emissions, in the US, we're talking a whopping 60% to 68% reduction. Europe takes it up a notch, hitting between 66% and 69%. And in China, the numbers vary due to their energy mix, clocking in between 37% and 45%. The gap is about to get wider as we shift towards greener grids. In China, EVS hitting the streets in 2030 could slash emissions by a jaw-dropping 64% compared to today's 45%. In the US, they're flexing their eco-muscles with up to a 46% emissions cut compared to gas-powered vehicles. The recently passed Inflation Reduction Act in the US, where new tax credits are revving up the game for both plug-in hybrids and electric vehicles. But here's the twist. Policies around the globe are shaping up differently. In Europe, nations like Germany are starting to shift gears, phasing out subsidies for plug-in hybrids in favor of electric vehicles. And across the globe in China, subsidies for plug-ins play second fiddle to their electric counterparts, requiring a minimum electric range of around 50 miles. But why the divergence? Well, it all comes down to consumer attitudes, Many Americans still have reservations about fully embracing electric vehicles. Concerns about charging accessibility and range anxiety top the charts, making plug-in hybrids a more comfortable choice for some. People want options. Plug-in hybrids bridge the gap, offering the benefits of electrification while easing concerns about charging infrastructure. The EU recently laid down the law, banning new sales of gas-powered cars, including plug-in hybrids, Starting in 2035, California and New York followed suit, ushering in a new era for clean transportation. Thank you for joining us on this electrifying journey. Don't forget to subscribe to Highway Heavens for more exciting updates on the automotive world and hit that notification bell to stay tuned for our next adventure. Until then, keep your engines running and your curiosity alive.